evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunday night is organ music night. And tonight is going to be a night of tuba. There will be lots of tuba tonight. Tuba tonight, frying tonight in the tuba departments. Wonderful stuff. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That was my piping hot at the organ version of Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. Fun stuff. And if you have an organ with a big tuba on it, then I suggest you get hold of that, so that you can do that too. All good fun indeed. How are you this evening, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you've been having a good weekend so far. Or if you are further east of us, I hope you had a good weekend. So, ah, we had a great weekend. As you can see, uh, autumn or fall has arrived. It's time to get the jumpers out again. It's that time of year where everything gets cold and damp and miserable. Vanessa sitting here wearing a scarf tonight, believe it or not. She's all dressed up. She's got, she's even wearing socks and a scarf and you know, she's all, she says it's cold. It is a bit chilly actually. We haven't, um, we haven't lit the fire yet. We have a sort of wood burning stove downstairs that we use in the deepest winter coldness. And we, we're not, we're not doing it in September. We're just not. Uh, so we're suffering the cold at the moment. So yes, so that's, uh, that's our wonderful life at the moment. So yes, anyway, it's been a fun weekend and tonight we are going to have some fun with hymns, with requests, with all sorts of things. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a bone to pick with you. Um, poor Vanessa, on Friday night, poor Vanessa was so incredibly stressed with hundreds of people requesting hundreds of things all at the same time. Now, this is wonderful. We think it's great that you request things, but it's very difficult to keep track of things in the chat if you're requesting things there. So, Vanessa, email address time. Um, so if you have a request for our live streams, whether it's a Friday night or a Sunday night as organ music night, please send them to gang at gartro.de. Click, there it is. Please send them to gang at gartro.de. And if possible, try to include the score of the music. If you think it's something that we, if it's a hymn, if it's a hymn tune or a hymn, we've got that. Don't worry about that unless it's a weird sort of modern tune that we might not have. Feel free to send it with us. But if you can find the score of the music, or at very least a link to the score, then that would help us out immensely. Because uh, poor Vanessa, we missed a lot of things on Friday night, because poor Vanessa was frantically scouring the internet, trying to find pieces of music uh, to be played during the concert, while everyone else was requesting stuff at the same time. So it's, we love it that you send your requests, and thank you very much for doing that. And um, if you, you know, if you send us a thank you donation or a virtual ticket while you are doing your, uh, uh, getting your requests, then thank you. That's even better. Uh, that's really wonderful. But you know, it's not a necessity. It's just, you know, it's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Um, just simply being here, giving the video a thumbs up on the way past, hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ha! All of those YouTube things are wonderful and help us out indeed. Now. We're on the Alessandria organ this evening. Now, I don't know if you remember on Friday night and last Sunday night, we had some weird clicking noises in the background. We had some weird CPU issues with my Hauptwerk installation here. Well, thanks to Mr. Graham Twist. We all love Graham and Graham, Graham went, Graham was already right up in the estimation lists, uh, but he's gone up even further. He's a very, most highly esteemed, the most highly esteemed Mr. Graham Twist has just gone up even further um, in the esteemed list. You can't say estimation, is that right? Well, maybe it is, I can't remember. I don't speak much English anymore. And um, Graham solved my CPU problem for me. Ha <laughs> ha! And I have had click-free music all afternoon when I was getting ready for today. So um, let's hope that continues. Fingers crossed that that's working. On a slightly more negative note, however, the piece of furniture that I am currently sitting on, our organ bench, now this was my one euro from eBay organ bench that I painted myself, remember? Took it outside and painted it. Well, the paint's all flaking off already because obviously I'm not, I didn't use professional, you know, wood paint and that sort of thing. I just used black spray paint. Um, it would appear that we have woodworm <laughs> in our one euro organ bench. Now I know where they were getting rid of it. So at some point in the near future, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to invest in a new seat. Uh, so there you are. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Um, 
let's work that one out. Now, every Saturday night, I sit at the organ in Herschbach, where I, where I am organist, and we get to play wonderful, wonderful hymns. And last night, all the, hymn, all the hymns were chosen by our local priest. And we had some wonderful hymns last night, and uh, one of them I didn't actually know, and I can't find it now. I wrote it down on my list. No, I didn't. Damn it. I didn't write it down on my list. Where is it? Uh, it's up here somewhere. Me. Ah. This is, this is different. Uh, it's, it's quite simple, but it's quite modern. But I rather like it. It, it goes... Hold on, we need to change registrations. Uh, there are my normal registrations, right? Perfect. It's, it's a great little hymn. It's called Wenn, uh, sorry, Wie ein Fest nach langer Trauer. Second verse, Wie ein Regen in der Wüste. Third verse, Wie ein Wort von toten Lippen. Oh my goodness, let me translate that. So the first one, um, um, like a celebration after a period of, what's Trauer? How would you say that in English? Why am I asking you? <laughs> I'm asking, um, mourning, there you are. So, we're getting on with the world, yeah? We, we've had our period of mourning and now things are moving on. Verse 2, wie ein Regen in der Wüste. So after the very dry summer in the desert, as soon as you get some rain, <gasps> there's that sort of, yes, or wie ein Wort von toten Lippen, like a word from dead lips. Um, so it's all about, it's all about sort of moving on, moving on, moving forwards. And that's what the Gaucho gang is all about, being positive and moving forwards. This is a great little hymn. I wonder, will you enjoy it? I do hope so.
Ha! Ist na. Hm? <laughs> Joe asked what kind of wood would I like. Um, um, Non-edible would be good uh, to keep the worms away. Um, as long as it can be painted black, I really don't mind. Um, it has to be able to hold my substantial weight, though. Um, our friend Rodi said he doesn't believe that I don't know these hymns. Well, it's true, actually. Um, I'm very old-fashioned, and I've only been in Germany for 22 years. Um, so there's a lot of things in here that I still don't know. And when people sort of say, oh, tomorrow is the feast of blah, 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 um, choose some suitable hymns. I don't know where to start. I just go to the internet and see what they say. I don't know. I, I, I don't know the words to these hymns. I don't know anything off by heart. I don't sing along with them because obviously I'm playing. Stone. I beg your pardon? Stone. Stone? <laughs> Good. Joe, if you come over and carry it up the stairs for us, then yes, um, definitely. Isn't that good? Now, I had a, an interesting email recently from someone from Germany. I won't say any names, but someone from Germany. And they said, they asked me a personal question. What's the difference between British and German hymns? And are there any British hymns in the German hymn book? And are there any German hymns in the British hymn book? <laughs> Obviously, yes, is the answer to both and all of those questions. Um, what are the differences? Well, the differences are simply the tradition, I suppose. Um, and a lot of people sort of said, a lot of people have over the years said, oh, there are so many wonderful, let's say British, let's call it Anglican hymns. That's probably the best way to put it. There's so many wonderful Anglican hymns and they're not in the German hymn book. Well, let's see. What about all the wonderful German hymns that are in the Anglican hymn book? There are so many, yeah, international. And I think that's the wonderful thing about music in general. It's completely international, as are we, the Gartshaw gang. We're all international. And one of my favourite hymns, believe it or not, is in both books. And it's only just recently made it into the German hymn book. And it's the wonderful song, song, the wonderful hymn, For All the Saints. And someone actually translated it into German, and they translated it rather well. Um, the original is, of course, here in this one, the English hymn. Now. And it's... Um, it's an absolutely wonderful tune. Um, actually, why don't I play the original version? Uh, because it's much better. It's written out properly. In the German book, it's only just here for, um, it's only written out as a melody. And it's up to the organist to add his, her, or its um, uh, harmonies. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be open these days for all these things. So anyway, so this is it. Here it is. Ah, that's more like it. That looks like. And this is, of course, this is one of those Vaughan Williams hymns. And if you don't know who Vaughan Williams was, then my goodness, you seriously need to know who Vaughan Williams was. Vaughan Williams is possibly one of the finest composers ever to come from the British Isles. Um, Vaughan Williams, wonderful character. Um, a mem an eccentric member of my family knew Vaughan Williams, so there you are. They were very pally, the two of them, apparently. I have no idea why, um, but they were very pally. And um, Vaughan Williams it was a, a mild eccentric. He was, um, he was not averse to trying the Colombian marching powders. Now, if, if, you, if, if you're into all this kind of music and you sort of see pictures of these people, you would never believe this, but Vaughan Williams was quite a character and um, was not averse to trying substances to see if he could expand his mind. And this is, I mean, this is, we're talking about a guy who died in 1958. Um, so he, everyone thinks he was a stuffy old English composer. Nothing could be further from the truth. He was an absolute mad eccentric. He was born in a tiny little village called Down Ampney, which is a lovely little English village just, oh, let me think, hold on, east of Highgrove, where Prince Charles, now King Charles, has his private house. Um, Years ago, I went to visit Down Ampney. I was, uh, I was down in that area. I was down near Bristol. And I was down in that area. And I drove from the sort of Bristol area towards Down Ampney. And those were the days when you had maps rather than navigation systems in cars. And I noticed that my map took me past Highgrove House on the way. So I thought, well, that's exciting. Wouldn't it be interesting if you saw Prince Charles? Ha, 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 ha. And as it turned out, I nearly ran him over. He was out walking his dogs all by himself. Uh, it was sort of early evening. He was out walking his dogs. No security, no nothing. I thought this was this mad guy with lots of dogs, not on a lead. And it was Prince, now King Charles. 
out walking his dog. Um, so yeah, so I didn't just go past uh, Highgrove House, I went past him. And, but anyway, I was, my, my, my journey was supposed to take me to Down Ampney, where I could go and see the birth house of Von Williams. Um, uh, and it was, it, it's exactly what you imagine it would be. It was a very sort of traditional little English cottage in a very traditional little English village that came up with a very traditional English composer. So there you are, sort of English through and through, one could say. Anyway, enough chat. Here's, I'm going to play two Vaughan Williams tunes this evening, by the way. We had another request for Vaughan Williams. So this was uh, my request, my own request for Vaughan Williams. Here we go. <laughs> with a bit of tuba at the end as well, just to really go for it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's more like it, isn't it? Ah, 
That's, that's what music is all about. Now, of course, I just got rid of the other one I wanted to play. So yes, this was the actual one that was uh, requested by... By... I can't read my own writing. This was requested by somebody. Um, um, come down or love divine, isn't it? Uh, there it is. 137. 137. And like I said, this is this is the birthplace of um, of Vaughan Williams. Vaughan Williams, um, the Anglican tradition, uh, all the hymn tunes have names. The tunes have names, and the German ones don't do that. So when everyone says, "Oh, can you play?" then in Germany the tunes don't have names. You just have the the names of the hymn or the words of the hymn, and that's the way that works. Um, yeah. That's the way that works. So this is a very, this is a much more sort of gentle number, I think. So let's, let's calm things down a little bit. The words, by the way, are Italian. Did you know that? Um, Bianco da Siena, around 1434. Bianco da Siena. That sounds like a beautiful glass of white wine. Remember Friday night, ladies and gentlemen, where after my trials and tribulations and hard work, um, you voted that I should get a glass of wi white wine by giving me lots of thumbs up. I didn't receive a glass of white wine. Yeah. And I'm guessing I'm not going to get one tonight either. All together now? Oh. Do I not get one tonight? Oh, we will see, she said. We will see. All right. If I behave, she said. I behave all the time. Just that. They're opening three bars. That's what makes Vaughan Williams so special. Listen to the way the voices move. This. That between the. Yeah? Between the alto voice and the tenor voice. That little movement there. That's what makes Vaughan Williams so special. <laughs> Shiver down the spine stuff. Two notes can do that.
Ne gefallen? <laughs> Ryan, our friend, Colonel Ryan. Colonel Ryan obviously suffers from the same, from the same disease I suffer from. When I buy something that I don't want Vanessa to know about, I tell her it cost five euros, <laughs> and then usually it costs about five hundred euros, um, and we get into trouble. And then usually I have to end up doing things in the background as well. So, Ryan, we, we, Ryan, what you mean more? Um, yes. Um, for since a couple of months now, Vanessa has been in charge of the, the household finances. I was about to say the royal finances, but yes, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. um, Her Majesty has been taking care of all financial matters in the Gaucho family, which is probably a very good thing. When, when, when Vanessa met my parents for the very first time, this is a long time ago now, five years ago, when she met them for the very first time, we went over, we went over for, it was my mum's birthday, wasn't it? Is that yeah. what we, yes, it was my mum's birthday. We were over oh, for my mum's so birthday. Young. Exactly. I won't say how old she was, but it was a round one. Anyway, it was my mum's birthday and we went over and the first thing my dad said to Vanessa was, I hope you're keeping an eye on the money. <laughs> or something to the... What, what, what's that again now, Gazette? She said, he said something along the lines of, I hope you're in charge of the money at home because he hasn't got a clue how money works or something like that, which was rich coming from him. My dad doesn't even own a wallet. Um, <laughs> so, uh, growing up, it was growing up, my dad never had, he was not allowed to have money. We were true royalty in those days. We did not carry money. We were not permitted to carry money um, because... Um, if it, it just had this magical sort of um, disappearing trick that went on. Ask my mum, she's here tonight. Ah, yes. Oh, Joe, what's that? Pinot Grigio was the wine. Forest Green is a hymn tune. Is that a clue? Let's do a spontaneous Joe. Forest Green, is that even in here? Let's have a look. Where are my alphabetical index of tunes? Forest Green, number 32, it is in here. That sounds like an evening hymn. Oh uh, no, it's a Christmas hymn. It's a, uh, what? Forest, that's Christmas, Joe. We can't do Christmas no. now. Can we do Christmas? Yeah, I think there are many Christmas songs, because it's also that it's already like Christmas chocolate. Who said that? Ingo. Who said, Ingo? Yeah. Ingo, right, okay, this is a request for Ingo no, and for Joe. Ingo has got, well, this is one for Ingo anyway. I'm going to give Ingo up. Ingo wasn't here on Friday night because Ingo forgot it Friday was Friday. And last night, Ingo sent me an email to say, I didn't get a link for the concert. And I thought, hold on a minute. It's not tuba time, is it, for members? No, it's not. And it turned out uh, Ingo had obviously slept for 24 hours. Right, apparently this was a request. Well, it is a request. And, oh, it's again, it's a Vaughan Williams. It's going to be a Vaughan Williams tonight. I can feel this. A Vaughan Williams tonight. Um, all right, Christmas then. Or Little Town of Bethlehem. Tune Forest Green. This is weird. Having said that, we do have... We went to Ikea the other day. When Vanessa and I are bored, we sort of go late at night. Uh, just half an hour before places close, we go and visit them. So Ikea, half an hour before it closes. Wonderful. Absolute silence. No people around. Absolutely wonderful. And we didn't, well, we did. All we bought was Christmas biscuits. You know those little very thin ginger biscuits you get from Ikea? Wonderful. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of life we lead. All right, so it, we... Um, my mother just said, your father, in other words, my father, always assumes I have money available. <laughs> yes, well, that always was the case, wasn't it? Dad was sort of always... Uh, Dad was always spending money that he thought someone else had. <laughs> Just basically what I've been trying all my life. It hasn't worked. Or oh, Little Town of Bethlehem. Tune Forest Green, a request from Joe, because Joe said something about Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pinot Grigio, that's a kind of white wine, Vanessa. And down in the fridge, down in the fridge, down in the fridge, we have a bottle of Pinot Bianco. From Italy, in fact, from the north part of Italy, from Süd Tirol, a Weißburgunder, as it's called in that part of the world. Apparently, it's going to stay in the fridge tonight. Oh, well. Wishful thinking.
it's all wrong, it's all wrong, I tell you. No, 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 it's September. You can't have Christmas tunes in September. I haven't even started rehearsing Christmas music with my choirs yet. Not yet. Good heavens. Good fun, good fun, good fun, good fun. The Descant version, the last verse there, um, was from 1898. It's as old as that. And it's got that lovely, sort of, that lovely uh, false thing. I love the organ in Alessandria. This is the sample set from Alessandria. Again, something Italian. Hint, hint, hint. Again, something Italian. And uh, it's, it's, it's almost got a sort of an Anglican cathedral sound to it, not just because it has the most amazing tuba. Ah, wonderful stuff. There we are. That was a nice request, a spontaneous request from Joe. Right. Vanessa, let's have some very spontaneous... I have a list of requests here that I'm going to play through this yeah, evening. I've but we have some spontaneous stuff. stuff. Oh, I'm sure we could do that. Actually, I have a better version of that in my wedding book. Weißt du? Hochzeit's heft? What's that then? Ooh, who's this for? Gleiswanderer? Yeah. Gleiswanderer? No! Gleisfander, this is not the usual. Ooh, ooh, that's, an, ooh, that's interesting. Okay, that's... Has du das rausgesucht? Yeah, but it's in the Gravel, we would also like an Ottim Braun Lied. Has du das rausgesucht or has Gleisfander das geschickt? That's genau. Ooh, that's interesting sight reading. But you can also what Ottim Braun Lied. Can I... Gleisfander, can I practice this for next time? Because it's it's not written as a it's written as a solo with an accompaniment, and that's 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 ooh that's too much for my brain. Oh I, 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 yes, we could we could we could definitely do that's a nice piece of music. Let me contemplate that one. We'll definitely do it. Maybe I'll do it in an extra video. Someone wants something from the Brown Book. Well, let's do that in a moment. What's the, what what else is that down there? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Who wants that? Johannes, Hannes Hobby? Mm. Oh my goodness me! Right, here we go. Any of you who have been alive since, or, or were alive during the 1980s, you will recognize this. Um, I think every household at some point in the Western world went through a phase of listening to this kind of music. You probably all went out and bought an album of this kind of music. As soon as I play the opening notes, you're going to recognize immediately what I'm talking about. It'll probably bring back all sorts of 1980s. That's the one I was looking for earlier. Uh, all sort of 1980s um, feelings and weird sort of stuff. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say any more than that. So yeah, this is for Hannah's hobby. This is a very interesting uh, request. Uh, I like it actually. I like it a lot. This will, this, like I say, this will make people sort of go back in time.
that brings back so many memories from all sorts of things from years ago. Especially when I studied in Edinburgh in the 90s, um, every street corner had some, some, some phony guy from South America with a pan flute and a little tape recorder in the background doing this kind of thing and um, selling feathers on pieces of string to gullible young girls. And, uh, and, it, uh, and it just, it was, it was a thing for a while. It seems to have gone out of fashion now, possibly for the best. But nonetheless, that was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tune back in the day. And I remember we had, Mum, we've probably still got it actually. We bought an, an album of um, El Condor Pasa and some, some cheesy band with lots of pan flutes and guitars and, you know, those bell things. You sort of go, Rip, and it makes bell sounds. You know the one I mean? All that kind of jazz. Mm. I've been playing around with my Hauptwerk installation and something, I don't know what's happened, but it's um, the pistons have become so responsive, you just have to fart in the general direction and they change. And that, that's new, before I really had to sort of press them and now I just have to think about pressing them and they change. Got to be very careful. Right, let's have that. This is Ingo's request, correct? Ingo, our friend Ingo. You know him under another name. I shan't mention it because that's his private name. But here's a wonderful request. And it's Bach, but it's not Bach as you know it. It's Bach in a simple arrangement. He said famously, a simple arrangement. Let's see if I can actually play this. Let's have a flute of two versions. That sounds cute. Uh, let's have a pedal. That sounds like a pedal. And then we need a solo. What shall we have for a solo? Let's have a crumb horn with a tremulant on it. Jesu joy of man's desiring. You might recognize this. <clears throat> Get your manuals right, boy. It's because I haven't had anything tasty to drink. <laughs> I'm so dry. She said snidely in the background, you've got water. Cheers. Come on, Mr. G. Oh, by the way, are you having fun this evening, ladies and gentlemen? Don't forget, get hold of your concert tickets, your virtual concert tickets, to help us out. Vanessa and I um, love it when you help us out. So thank you very much indeed. Apparently, this evening, we have received three ticket sales and no more. Is that right? Three? We've been playing for 50 minutes and we've had three ticket sales. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, buy tickets.
Jesu joy of man's desiring in an arrangement by Brian Hesford. Remember Brian Hesford? I wonder what he's doing now. Not a lot. The Organist Wedding Album, a very good book, bought back in the 1980s in the Inverness Music Shop all those years ago. Exciting stuff. What's next, Mrs. G? Or shall I do another one of mine? Actually, let's do one. We have one. Oh my goodness. We have one for, for um, Michael, Michael. Michael, exactly. Michael has requested something rather exciting. A gospel tune. A gospel tune. The most famous gospel tune of them all. Not necessarily my, fam my favorite gospel tune, but it is a good one. Uh, let's see, what key shall we play it in? Uh, da, da, da. I think we'll play it in C major. Okay.
I couldn't do that in the old days before I worked out the CPU trick from Graham. That would have gone crazy. Nice one. Yeah. Thanks, Graham. I like it. So that was a request for Michael. Um, oh, happy day. A wonderful, wonderful piece of music. How many tickets sold now, Vanessa? Two or three more. <laughs> Vanessa says, you obviously don't like our concert today. Don't you like our concert today, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, don't you like us anymore? What's wrong? Help, help. Are we doing something wrong? Let us know if we're doing something wrong. Good heavens, please. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, right, Vanessa, keep us informed there, yeah? Six tickets so far. How many, six or seven, yeah? Whoa, okay. So normally within the first hour, we maybe have more than that. A few more, a few more than that. Okay, well, times are tough. We know this, but <laughs> times are tough for us as well. This is our job, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do for a living. This is what we do for a living. Our friend Alexander always has some requests kicking around. And tonight is no, no exception. Now, after the Bach fiasco on... Friday night. I think this is right, actually. I think I've actually got this. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that does look good, actually. Okay. Um, uh, after I, uh, Alexander requested Bach on Friday night, and it was a disaster. I don't like sight reading Bach. I don't like it at all. And um, tonight he requested something by Vidor. And Vidor, of course, we all love Vidor. And Vidor's Symphony Number. No. Five. Everyone loves Symphony Number no. Five. It starts with, the... and how does it go again? I haven't played this since ooh, the nineties, probably. The second, um, the second, um, the second movement is that wonderful. like that and then the third movement is very famous uh, it's got lovely big grumbling lovely big pedal stuff and so on and so on that's good fun the fifth movement the final movement is of course everyone's favorite um, Everybody's favorite cha cha cha. Uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry, toccata. Um, that will be coming to the channel sometime soon. Who wants me to play Vidor's toccata during the festival coming up soon? <gasps> if you want it in the festival, buy a ticket. Ha! There you are. Bribery. That's going to work. But nobody, nobody plays the fourth movement, which is this very slow, soft, gentle movement, adagio. It's so slow, people sort of don't bother with it, but it's rather beautiful. Now, this is a slow, and a slow and gentle piece of music. So while this is playing, I suggest you check out that little link there you see at the top of the chat, and that takes you to, uh, takes you to a very nice place. Oh, you must, Joe, what's that all about, Joe? Don't you want the uh, Vidor Toccata, Joe? Oh, my goodness. Um,
gewidmet an seine Frau. For Cameron? Also gewidmet an Christi. For this is haha, this is that was a bit of Vidor, a very soft and gentle piece of Vidor. Ladies and gentlemen. Hm? 76 trombones is coming next. So I think we need to go back to these selections of goodies. Do I oh, save? Did I change something? Uh oh. Maybe I did. Our friend Cameron Platz, who is here in the chat. Cameron's here in the Platz. Ah, Cameron is here in the chat. Sorry, yes. Uh, back to Vidor for a moment there. Yes, very few play, play, look, people play. People play. Very few people play. The fourth movement of Vidor's Fifth Symphony, for some reason, it's. it's I think it's probably because it doesn't do very much. It's so gentle. But when you get to know it, when you get into it, it's, it is. It's wonderful. It's incredibly difficult to play because of all its legato stuff going on in the background. It's got to be 100% legato, so lots of sliding of thumbs and things. Cheating, in other words. Um, great fun indeed. All right. Here we go with a wonderful piece of music for our good friend Cameron Platt, who dedicates it to his wife, Christine. Here we go.
Oh, how did I end up there? 76 trombones. Originally in B flat, then I moved to C. That was the easy part. I cleverly, I don't know if you notice it, modulated back to B flat without anybody noticing, and then ended in B major, the most hideous key in the world. How did I do that? I have no idea, but it worked. Ladies and gentlemen, 76 trombones. Now, while we're on the subject of... Uh, Tuba tune. Oh, yes, we'll have that in a moment. Perfect. Tuba tunes. We're playing a tuba organ, and we kind of need to have a tuba tune, don't we? And I promised, I promised to play this piece of music years ago. Do I even have it here? Uh, what's it called? Oh, there it is. Um, will this work? Let me see. This was done years ago, and I can't remember. There's the tuba. That's fine. And then I'm guessing that's later, and that's the end. Oh, there's only. Oh, is that it? Yeah, all right, let's do that a bit more, just in case I cock that up. Ah. Um, a wonderful, 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 wonderful tuba tune. Possibly one of the most famous tuba tunes ever. Believe it or not, I've never played this in my life. So I, I um, dug out the music, printed it out earlier today, and thought, let's sight read it. I love sight reading. I love sight reading. Baby, yeah. have we got any more tickets sold? Also, Ooh, Vanessa's exact words were, it's not very good today. <laughs> Vanessa says maybe it's to do with the rising energy prices around the world. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah we have our rising energy prices as well. So, hmm, it's interesting. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We are very grateful to you for anything that does come in. So we're not being ungrateful in any way here. Um, concerts will keep coming and uh, we'll keep doing this forever more. This is what it's all about. Right, a bit of sight reading. I love sight reading. I'm getting good at sight reading these days. I, I used to hate sight reading when I was younger, but now you just sort of get on with it. And um, it's just dawned on me. I don't even know the middle bit to this. Does, what the hell is it doing there? Da, di, 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 di. Oh, it goes somewhere completely different. I didn't know that. Um, I know that bit. I've heard that. What does this bit do to it? it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is something else. Yeah, yeah. This is something else. This is m this was me. Okay. Anyway, right. Uh, C. S. Lang's tuba tune in D major. Why are tuba tunes in D major? Anyone know? Graham, do you know why tuba tunes are in D major? This is why I don't like sight reading. Did I just say I did like sight reading? No, I don't. Okay, that's difficult. Okay, the left hand does something completely different. Okay. I've got this tune in my brain, you see. I've never played it before. So let's try that again.
It's not as easy as it looks. Oh my goodness me. Ah, I like that. I've never played that before, as you may have noticed. Who did? Oh, Alexander Wunderlich. Alexander Wunderlich, our good friend Alexander Wunderlich is feeling sorry for us this evening and has donated twice. Thank you, Alexander. That's very kind of you indeed. Thank you very, very much indeed. People, we don't, we, sh it, uh, it's, we shouldn't have to rely on people like Alexander to do things twice. We should all chip in from time to time. I know that's naughty. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Thank you very much, though, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. Very kind of you. Now, here's a wonderfully weird piece of music. Now, this was requested on Friday night, and the version of the score that was provided was unplayable um, for reasons unknown. So let's see. Actually, we might even leave. No, let's go back to... Let's go back to these registrations. And uh, this might work, because we need a... Do we need a tuba for this? Oh, we do. We need a fanfare. We need a fanfare. Yeah. Now, this... I have no idea what this music is. Absolutely no idea. I suspect it's something to do with sort of Japanese anime kind of stuff. I have no idea what it's to do with at all. But it's from... It's from our friend Mu... What's his name? Mukade? Is that right? Mukade. Yeah. Mukade. Mukade Tenno. There he is. I see him in the chat there. Him? I'm assuming it's a him. Is it a him or a her? I have no idea. Or in this day and age, it could be anything. Um, and this is... A big pardon? Yes. Okay. We're playing it right now. And um, this is weird. It's weird, but it's fun. It's really rather fun. Um, I sort of listened to it to see what it's all about and it came up with this. So it's kind of sort of Japanese anime style music, but it's kind of classical as well. But it starts with a wonderful fanfare. See what you think. Um, see what you think. This is a piano score that's... Yeah, I've no idea. Who's saying good luck? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, good luck is uh, definitely required. Let's see what we get out of this thing.
I have no idea. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Um, that's an arrangement of it by someone called Benjamin. So if that's not how it's supposed to sound, then ask Benjamin. But that, that's it's different, definitely different. So I like it. What kind of music is it? Tell me more about it, Mr. Tenno or Ms. Tenno or Ms. Tenno or Tenno. Yeah? <gasps> Mukare Tenno, thank you so much indeed. That's very generous. Yes, thank you. Mwah. We love you, whoever you are. Right, what's that? Oh, I recognize that. This. It's Wagner. Yes, oh, we have more. Nice. Uh oh. Yeah. My goodness me, right. This is a request, well, a request from Job for various people. I love this. This is great fun. Now we need to change this again. Hold on. Uh, yeah, right. So we're going to do this again. Uh, this is uh, Joe's request for Adrian Morris, Adrian Morris Gerard Long, Long, Nancy Telly, and, and Rasbaz. All of those people. And this is from Joe for all of you. So that's exciting. And it's time for us to sing along. Ladies and gentlemen, grab yourselves a cup of coffee and, or a glass of water or a glass of something else. Hint, hint, hint. I'm not going to get it, am I? Anyway, a long, long time ago in a galaxy very, very far away, in the days of 78s, there was a wonderful, there we are, there was a wonderful group of gentlemen who got together and sang in close harmony and they sang fun music, happy fun music. And I think you might recognize this one. <laughs> this is good. I like it. Joe, you're a master. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the jive, the jive, and it loves me. Coffee and tea, and the jiving and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. What's your cup. name? 
Wonderful stuff. Thank you, Joe. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? What's this? What's this? <coughs> oh my goodness, me more Bach. Oh, more Bach. My brain dissolves when I see Bach. I beg your pardon? Colin. Metallica. Have you found something? Do we have a score? Mm. <gasps> Sounds good. Wenn Sounds good. Frage, yes, I'm going to do that in a separate video. I got a wonderful, a w wonderful mail recently um, from our friend Sonia, whose birthday it was the other day, and um, she requested she requested something in the style of Messiaen, Messiaen which I think is wonderful. Everyone says Mission, and it's Mission, but never mind. Um, only Germans get that wrong for some reason. Um, yeah, and this is weird. Um, it's not weird, it's wonderful, actually. And um, 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 Messian's modes, or limited modes of transposition, and a lot of this is actually used in jazz music as well. So you have these sorts of um, wonderful... Uh, where does it go from there? Where the hell does it go from there? I can't remember now. Um, it goes from there. That's it. Aha! Where does it go from there again? That's it. That's it. The modes of limited... I, oh, going back to my days of studying. And there are sort of various chords and various ways of doing things and various rules and regulations. It's wonderful stuff. It's great sounding stuff. So yes, I'm going to do a tutorial on that because I think that would be rather good fun. Okay, now, this is a request for Rodi and um, yeah, it's, it's more Bach and you know what I, th you know what I think about Bach. Um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Nancy, you're exactly right. Vanessa just reminded me, Nancy. Nancy says, what did Nancy say? Now that everyone knows Fraser hates Bach, he's getting plenty of requests for it. Yes, you're all a bunch of sadists. Um, why are they doing that? Oh, I see. Apparently you all find it really cute when I have to concentrate. You rotten swines, a lot of you. <laughs> That's so naughty of you. That's so nasty. Uh, is it? This is hard work for me. It really is very hard work. Um, but <sighs> I'll try it. This is one for Rudy. It's a very famous piece of music, and this is what I really don't like about it because you all know it, and I don't. Um, so I don't know. Let's see what we can do with it.
are you doing? Ooh. Remember a couple of weeks ago, Vanessa had a little operation down in her tummy area and the, the, uh, the scar, which has been sewn up, uh, the, the stitches have not come out yet and it's, it's becoming itchy. And she's going, she's going crazy in the background. That was sheep may safely graze, or at least an attempt at sheep may, sheep, sheep may safely graze. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Okay, a deal from now on. People who request Bach, people who request Bach have to, have to include a donation of at least 20 euros. And, or shall we say more? <laughs> Shall we say more? Vanessa says more. All right then, 25. <laughs> no. I love cleaning windows. I, I just don't do it, but I love cleaning windows. That's true, I love cleaning windows. I'll clean the windows this week. You, and where are you going to get the 20 euros from to do it? From my bank account or something. That's clever. I like that, yes. Yes, a uh, deal from now on. If you want a piece of music from Bach, include at least, at least 20 euro request. And I might consider it. <laughs> I might then consider it. Oh my goodness me. We have something from the Brown Book of Goodness, don't we? 77. We just had 76 trombones, so we could have number 77. Oh, all right. Mm, that's very similar to 76 trombones, actually. 88. Ooh, I quite like this one. Okay. Yes. Festival. Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, ready for a click? Three, two, one. Click. In a week's time, in less than a week's time, we will be hosting our second Gottschall Organ Festival. Friday, uh, September the 30th, we will have our opening concert live from here. All these concerts are live, by the way, don't forget. So Friday night is organ music night. Our next Friday will be the opening concert for our wonderful, wonderful organ festival. On Saturday, October the 1st, in place of a tuba members concert, don't forget, if you join us on our Patreon level called Tuba, you get an extra monthly live concert for members only. That will take place a week later in October. That will take place on October the 8th, so don't worry about it. It will take place. But on October the 1st, we will have a night at the Oscars, a night of film music. Get your requests in now. Gang at Gartro.de. Requests for film music, preferably Oscar-winning film music as well. On the Sunday night, we will have a jazz band ball. We're going to have a New Orleans-style carnival ball. So lots of wonderful jazz music from around the world. Ooh, on Monday, October the 3rd, my favourite. It's going to be a Bach Bonanza. Music by and for Bach. That's quite interesting. By and for or arrangements of Bach. That's going to be an interesting one. On the Tuesday, uh, October the 4th, a silent film night. We are going to do another silent film accompaniment. Yes, indeed. Um, if you have requests for silent films you might like, make sure it's a public domain silent film and uh, do let us know well in advance so that we can do it. I already have something chosen, but if you have something better, go for it. And then on Wednesday, October the 5th, it's our closing concert. We will be wrapping up the festival and letting you know how things were and enjoying all those wonderful things. <coughs> Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's the picture gone. Oh, Vanessa's disappearing. Where are you going? She's going downstairs. Oh, do I get my glass of Pinot Bianco? Please let that be my glass of Pinot Bianco. I'm so exhausted from all this bath. She's talking to the dog downstairs. I thought she might have been. All right, then. While Vanessa's downstairs doing that, let's have a look at number 88 in the Brown Book of Goodness. And um, this, who requested this? Is this for Gleis van der Rohe or is this for someone else? Uh, it's for Gleis van Of course it's for Gleis van der Rohe. She said someone else requested one of these as well. So here we go. Um, I love these. I think I've mentioned that many times. Check this out.
That, ladies and gentlemen, wonderful also, march music. I love. That was expended out of the Publikum. From. Bill. Joe, I love Joe. Joe, Joe and Marie, thank you very much. Look, ladies and gentlemen, a glass of brake fluid. No, a glass of. <laughs> Ah, we're getting towards the end of the bottle. That's the worrying thing. I opened this bottle four weeks ago, and uh, yeah, in old days it, would, it wouldn't have lasted four hours. Never mind four weeks. So yes, cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, a glass of Pinot Bianco from the wonderful world of Sud Tirol. Mm. Cheers, folks. Mm. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are having fun. I hope you have been having fun. Earlier today, I received a message, a message on my mobile telephone device. That's the one up here. I got it fixed, by the way. It's working again with the overhead stuff. <gasps> that is delicious. Oh, that's moving through all the right parts of my body and doing what it needs to do. And in that message, there was a piece of music in the background. And the piece of music in the background was one of the most famous pieces of music of all time. And believe it or not, it sounds amazing on an organ. Let's find out.
Oh, we both pressed buttons at the same time and the system went. <laughs> We have, oh, we have a closing song. I was. What? I was going to play something jazzy to finish. Who that for? Oh, MT again. All right. Oh, no, that's the wrong glass. Wrong glass. Ah, fun glass. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ah. If I had one of those at the beginning of the evening, my, my, it would have been a fun night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to close this evening's proceedings. Now, we have a busy week ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a variety of videos posted during the week prior to our festival starting on Friday night. So, keep your eyes and ears open. If you haven't, you know, do subscribe and do tick that bell thing. Activate that little notification bell thing so that you know of things coming up. There's going to be some short videos, some teasers, and there's going to be some real videos as well. I've got some videos talking about here, talking about this. Fraser Gottschall's organ works. That's that's out and about now, and that's doing its thing. And um, and then, of course, we'll be getting ready for Friday night for our festival. That's going to be good fun indeed. So I hope you will join us for that. That's going to be good fun indeed. Vanessa, how were ticket sales after all tonight? Not bad, she said. It got better towards the end. Oh, thank, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's so kind of you. Don't forget, without you and without your help, none of this would be possible. This is... This is what we do, or this is what I do. This is, you know, Vanessa is a student. She has that much of an income. And this is basically turning into my full-time job. Things, um, you know, things at the local churches are, you know, I, I am an organist at the local church where I have one weekly service. And thankfully, that's remaining. A lot of churches in this part of the world, they're going to buy weekly services because they have, you know, they can't afford to keep the churches heated and electricity and things like that so they're cancelling services no i think that's a really bad idea i would just rather have a cold church churches are cold anyway in winter so what's the difference but the powers that be decided that things are going to be you know cancelled so thankfully my job is safe at the moment but my colleagues you know they're, they're basically they only have to play half the services and that's you know that that's a disgrace i think um yeah choirs i have a couple of choirs that i run and that's it that's it otherwise it's all this so so you know um anything you help us out with is a very very welcome indeed and goes towards keeping us alive <laughs> um so yeah so thank you very much for that so anyway yes we have a final request for this evening it's a request once again from our um from our friend mt mr mr mrs do we know if it's wonderful yes yeah, fine it's, it's absolutely wonderful why someone said it's not good it's delicious Alexander, hast du das gehört? Ja. <laughs> I see. We have a request for our, our friend MT, um, Mukado, Mukado, sorry, Tenno. We don't, do we know anything about Mukado Tenno? Tell us about yourself. Send us an email, gang at gartro.de. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, ah, but we want to know who it is. Who are you? You, you mysterious and wonderful person. From the land of the East. Maybe or maybe not. We don't know. It's probably someone from a Westerwald village pretending to be Japanese. Anyway, this was another request. And it's a piece of music by, by Bruce Beethoven. Uh, Graham, if you're still watching, you know what I mean by Bruce Beethoven. And you've got it. Anyway, um, enough of that. Um, Spike Milligan and his humour. I'm going to jazz it up because it's the end of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for watching. That was Sunday Night as Organ Music Night. Have a wonderful week. And if we don't see you through the week, we'll see you through a window.